hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is itesh and i'm back with another video it's been a while since i posted any tutorials so i'm back with this wooden lamp model and uh, we're going to create this in maya i'm going to start with a uh, cylinder for the top part and i'm going to change the height value make it a little bit taller like this and i'm going to go to face mode select the faces on the top and add some offset like this and extrude then once again offset a little bit and extrude and finally just add a little bit of detail here like this now i'm going to add a split here delete the bottom part and create a duplicate of it then rotate like this select both of them combine go to vertex mode select the vertices and merge then remove the center part to see if everything is good now i'm going to again add a split here then bevel like this then select these faces and include a little bit like this and now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to select these faces create a duplicate select it modify center pivot bring this down here like this I'm going to cover this and merge edges to center then extrude add some thickness like this check the faces down here some offset then extrude to add a little bit of detail same thing here offset extrude like this now i'll take another cylinder bring this down here and turn down the radius like this I'm going to select the vertices, pull them down, select this edge bevel, then select the faces, offset, extrude, repeat the same thing one more time like this. and extrude it like this so i'm just going to pull these vertices down 
and go to face mode delete the faces on the top then create a duplicate of it and select both of them combine vertices and merge now i'm going to select these vertices and pull them up till here now we need to model this third part so for this i'm going to take a cube bring this out go to top view place it here go to wireframe mode and i'm going to change the width and depth first Place it here like this. And select the vertices. Pull these down. Till here. Now what we need to do is. We need to select this and make it smaller like this now select it and i'm going to increase the subdivisions in the height if it doesn't work then select it and first uh, i'm going to go to edge mode select all the edges bevel add one segment then select these edges go to connect tool and let's add 20 or so maybe 25 segments now i'm going to select this create a duplicate but before creating a duplicate just change the pivot to the center of the grid and place them like this combine them and I'm going to use this nonlinear twist. Go to attribute editor and change the value of your start angle like this. I'm going to change the value of a start angle to 360. And as you can see that it's not aligned, so I'm going to select this twist handle and move it to the center of the grid like this Now everything looks fine. 
so i'm going to select everything go to edit delete by type history now it's time to add some supporting edges i'm going to start with this one and uh, i'm going to select all these border edges then bevel and add one segment with a little bit of friction and also i'm going to uh, remove the alternate edges to make them a chord polygon same thing down here I'm going to repeat same process for all the other part of this model. Select the edges like this. bevel add one segment and the same process here so i'll just select this bevel with one segment and as for this isolate it select all the border edges and the bevel turn down the friction add one segment select everything press 3 to use smooth preview and that's how it looks i'm going to select everything go to edit delete by type history and our model is done We can add some supporting edges here like this and that's it. So if you like this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.